let me take you on one of the best dining experiences here in Las Vegas. Hint, it's right here at the Cosmopolitan. Guys, I'm here right outside Haleo, but tonight I'm not here for Haleo. I'm actually here for another restaurant within Haleo. It's a tasting menu restaurant by two Michelin star chef Jose Andres called Um. Hey guys, I'm so excited. I have my golden tickets right here and I can't wait to show you the experience of E by Jose Andres. It would be a culinary journey. I think they said it's around 20 courses tasting menu of Spanish avant-garde dishes and molecular gastronomy, which I love to do so much. There are two sweet things to the dinner at the One is at 5.30 p.m., the other at 8.30 p.m. And I chose the 5.30 p.m. so that I don't get too full. Yes, I heard that it takes around two hours for the entire experience. They ask you to arrive a little early at around 5.15. If you arrive earlier or at that time, they set you at this pre-seating table where you get to meet the other diners and you also get your golden tickets. So you can also choose wine pairings to go with your tasting menu. They have three different levels and here's the menu. So while you're waiting, you can also choose from cocktails and sips. So we've been picked up by the staff and we're now headed to the actual intimate dining room where we're gonna have the tasting menu. This is olive and almond. This here, they said it's a sangria sphere. You put it in your mouth and then press the Wow, it just exploded. So this is a black stone. It's like a stone. It has Montego cheese and Iberi Gota. So this here is Spanish pizza with ideas of bell cheese, black truffle, and tomato. The earthy notes of the black truffle so complements the tartness of the tomato. So this is the Wonder Bread. It has persimmon, black truffle, and foie gras. It's like to pick it up and eat it like a sandwich. Mm. Wow. The creaminess, the foie the earthiness, the tart, the creaminess. Like a sponge. This is the tortellita with oyster cap, and caviar. So crispy, the cream on top, and the brightness of the caviar. So they call this Rose's hands. Yes, it came with the hands. It's very cold. Ham with caviar and gold flakes. Silver mesh is not edible. So this is a vermouth El Blanco with the El Vermouth, which has mussels and scallops. So they said to try each component individually and then mix this. All the spear though. So the scallop was foam, and you can really see how strong the scallop is. I'm trying everything in one bite. So this course is edible sangria. They use liquid nitrogen to make them into like dots that you can eat mm. so, um, so much concentration in one dot of some real 
kind of reminds me of Dippin' Dots. I'm not sure if you've had that before, but yeah. Mm. So this is the Dungeness Craft Chorus, and they said to pour this vial here. And then to drop this here. I know, I'm saying, I'm just trying to save it, I don't think I can eat it too Wow. Crab is so sweet. It's nice to have that extra crunch. So the next course is paired with Otreya wine. And here we have some flu fish with some black sauce. So they said to, to get the sauce and get a cone almond cream along with the diesel <laughs> powder. So this is the rib ice and it has black like truffles and what's super yeah. unique is it has liquid gnocchi. I'm so excited to try. It's paired with the Basconia Reserva. I want to try the gnocchi first. Well, we're never going to see these people again, mm. so we're going to enjoy wow. the crazy. It's actually like a very potato puree type of thing. We got here, we didn't even grab the <laughs> Mm. Yeah, exactly. And this is the ribeye they showed earlier. So the fat is so tender, having a bit of everything. She was here with his parents. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can't <laughs> believe it. Yeah. So this is cotton candy, foie gras, and corn nuts. Mm. The fog dry and corn nuts actually work very well together. You get the creaminess and the crunch, and the cotton candy just melts. So this is the cheese corn, so it has the cotton candy on top, and then there's Rafia black goat cheese at the bottom. They're trying the cheese first. It's a cold cheese that they pureed. Well, it's more like a soup, but it's very tasty. It's the same cotton candy as the previous one. The saltiness of the cheese and the sweetness of the cotton candy is just the flavor profile is mind blowing. It's served with this Victoria number no. two dessert wine and it's paired with the next few courses. It's like a late harvest, not too sweet, but still sweet and it's really refreshing. This is a Marcona almond cloud. See how fluffy this yeah, is? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's a heavy It just melts as soon as it hits your tongue. It just melts. I'm trying to mix it with other stuff here. So this dessert has strawberry, walnut, and hazelnut. So there's some cream, cold, icy hazelnut, and then some strawberries. So they said it's inspired by a Basque dessert. So nice, you get some creaminess, you get some iciness, and then you get the cheese and the strawberry. So this one has burnt rum and coffee beans and cinnamon sticks, and then they light it on fire. And this course right here, they call it Ferrero Rocher. There's some dirt soil that you can grab with it. the golden shovel. So the big piece does taste like a fair okay. This is the snowflake and we said to break it off with a small spoon. So this is like the yogurt dish but it's powdered. Such a good light dessert. Nice creamy yogurt. And then you have the powder. Then you have the crispy from the snowflake. Last course, they gave gin and tonic marshmallow mm -hmm. and olive gummy. And then there's pop rocks in here as well. So here we have gin and tonic as the last pairing. This apparently, Chef Jose Andres loves ending his meal with gin and tonic. So, gin and tonic marshmallow is very unique. I'm excited to try. Mm, really tastes the gin and tonic. And olive gummy. Very interesting. And the pop rock they said is just normal pop rock. So it gives a nice popping and crispiness to the dessert. So this course has dark chocolate, white chocolate foam, or they say air, and then there's 
um, orange custard. Look at some of the pictures of his food. And he's so at the end of the dinner, you actually get a nice copy of the menu and the wine pairing if you opted for it. So for the wine pairing, I ended up doing the Espanol wine pairing for one fifty. There are three levels and there's a $600 global experience wine pairing. But I felt like doing a Spanish tasting menu, I'd rather just fix or focus on Spanish wine. Why would I want to do non-Spanish wines in a Spanish tasting menu, right? So I highly recommend maybe just sticking to the Spanish and $600 for the global experience. It's kind of pricey as well, so it's up to you if you want to go and splurge for that wine pairing. You also get at this booklet looking thing but it's actually the bill inside for the tasting menu or if you pre-book the pairing you actually prepay for it but if you add it on top you get it here hey guys so i'm gonna give you an exclusive sneak peek of the kitchen inside a but i was told that the main kitchen is actually at haleo and the one at a is more of like a staging and a final preparation kind of kitchen i'm here with alex that's a alex why should we come check out a I think it's the best experience in Vegas as far as food goes. You know, we have 25 different courses. You get to hang out with the chef team, obviously hang out and ask questions afterwards too. Highly recommended, not just because I work here, you know what I mean? Awesome. Thank you. I had such an amazing meal. Yeah, and glad you I highly it. recommend it as well. Like, be sure to check it out. Of course. Any Jose restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I still need to try like, the other ones. I've been to Haleo and E, so yeah. Highly recommend both of them. I still need to check out Bavara Meat. Bavara Meat, Chino Poblano. Okay. Uh, two new restaurants coming this year, too. Oh, in Vegas? Vegas, yeah. Oh, so awesome. it's Caesars and Aria. Oh, cool. Okay. So two more restaurants to check out. Add to the list. Hey guys, so the dinner is done, and I highly recommend checking out A by Jose Andres. So apparently it's pronounced A, not E. Yeah which I've been saying all this time, but it's such an amazing experience, like the molecular gastronomy, the creativeness and uniqueness of the dishes. You think Spanish cuisine is amazing. It's actually mind-blowing. I haven't felt this excited since my first time dining at Alinea back in 2008. And I've tried El Salor de Can Roca, Old Sui, and a bunch of other Michelin star restaurants and world 50 best restaurants and this has been one of the top restaurants I visited in Las Vegas so be sure to check it out and if you want more unique dining experiences be sure to like follow and subscribe and check out this next video right here